setup for a con is from 2 to 10. I'm going to get there. It's 2 o'clock now, almost 2 o'clock now. I'm trying to leave 10 a little bit earlier so I can get in there and um, get my stuff unloaded, hopefully before there's a rush. It would be stupid to think that a lot of people didn't take off to come in and get in there early. But normally, when I've gone in before, it's been ridiculous and um, so hot because they have all the big gates open so the exhibitors can back in with their cars and bring in their trucks. I haven't advertised at all anywhere on my social media my booth or table number other than the prepping for Comic Con video that I just put out but I'm gonna have to make those posts tonight so but I've got my stuff and I am ready to go the weather is rainy it is dank it is hot outside I hope when I go it's not hot and nasty yet because Last time I went, I had like an instant panic attack because I couldn't breathe. And one of the triggers for my anxiety is not being able to breathe. So I'll be okay. I managed last time and I'm gonna be okay now. So wish me luck. I'm gonna try and get some inside shots of what things look like while people are setting up when I get there. so excited because if you look around yay there is no big gap between my table and the other one and I'm so excited and oh my god Ari didn't tell me that her art is on the exhibitor passes My best friend's a star. My baby. I actually have to go pick her up from the hotel right now. She didn't want to get lost. I think that sign is tall enough. So.
It is uh, 9.53. Hey, Ari, her sister, and her brothers and I have ordered from Tiani's Trash Pizza. <laughs> Tiani's Trash Pizza. At seven, we waited almost a thousand hours. <laughs> we waited two hours and 10 minutes to get pizza, hamburgers, fries, wings, Cheesecake, all that good stuff. Cheesecake. Two hours. <laughs> then we spent over a hundred dollars. Spent over a hundred dollars. The. Are they refunding you? No, they're not gonna refund her. <laughs> <laughs> it says right here. We should have got the fucking price. <laughs> <laughs> no refunds. They said that. They said that. Minimum they said twelve dollar uh, order and no refunds policy. That's what it does. Yeah. So, <laughs> fries were chalky and. Uh, Cheesecake tastes like cheese. It's like literal cheese. It's as if somebody took some cheese, someone took some mozzarella, put it in a blender with some water, put it into the fridge in the in the shape of a cheesecake, let it congeal overnight, and that's what we got. Cheesecake. In the garbage. In the, in the trash. Why are we why are we doing a food review during Tampa Comic Con? <laughs> because we waited two hours, we're starving, we've been at con all day, and we wanted real food. We ordered this meal. This feast. This feast. feast, this $100 feast. This $100 feast. We could've gone to Outback Steakhouse. Ate like kings. Ate like kings. And uh, these people are 15 minutes away. And we're all making Yelp accounts just to give them a bedroom. So if y'all wanna make some Yelp accounts, <laughs> Here it the is. Here it is. Tiani's Pizza Room. Like, Gotta <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> hey guys, we're at day two of Comic Con and they just let everyone in because I heard them from their wildebeest sound. I am so happy to be here. So excited. I'm trying to take my airborne before everyone gets here. This is to keep you from getting sick. You take four tablets of these every day. Learned it from my good friend Tori. Love you, babe. But yeah, my mom is on her way here too. So I'm really excited. I'm starving. It's gonna be a long and lovely day. I'm so happy and excited. See the protesters outside. Going to hell, hashtag Satan's right, hashtag, you know. Alex, demons. how do you feel about this crazy Saturday? <laughs> Listen, I think the Lord is going to hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Better get ready, Jesus Wait, is coming. Wait, I put my dinosaur on. Aww. You're fine, it's okay. It's just, my, it's just my vlog. We have like 10 minutes left on Saturday. I'm not it's picking my nose. I'm not I wasn't. Yeah, they gotta get on It's there, been, we have. 10 minutes and then we're gonna wait till they tell everyone to leave and then we're gonna need another 20 minutes until everyone actually leaves because they don't listen to them. Yeah. Is that Marilyn Manson? That's not Marilyn Manson, that's a Deadpool that's been walking around for two days Playing Marilyn Manson. saying we'll dance for food. Mm. But productive day? You did good? Productive day. She got to do a panel that I didn't get to do. She decided she didn't want to come. <laughs> Inflated exactly. <laughs> ah! Oh no! Hi guys. Alright, we're going to the protesters now. Who is your influence? What is, what is, who are the people that you associate? 
Last day of Comic Con. It is beautiful outside, and there's already a line for Sunday. It's great. I'm going to get my friends, Jennifer or just Jen, and her fiance Christian, and they are going to help me. They are so sweet, and I can't wait to spend the day with them. Christian and Jen Hello. are taking such good care of me and this booth and we are selling out like crazy. It's so busy for a Sunday. So happy to be here. And you guys are awesome. You're awesome. <laughs> oh, hi you guys. So it is Sunday. It is 11. 17. I just got home a little while ago. Um, and the Comic Con is over just like that. Um, I am so tired. <laughs> I hung out with Ari as much as I could. I've missed her so much. I haven't seen her in like a year and seven months, and we lived together for like a year and two or three months so it's been quite a change but it was great seeing her and my friends and my family and I want to go on into um, so much more um, about my reflections on Comic Con and everyone I got to meet which was wonderful but I just had an amazing time um, and I was so happy the whole time I was there but I'm gonna get some rest and then maybe when I don't sound like uh, like a dead battery I'll get on to uh, making uh, a close out and reflections for this vlog um, but yeah that's it it's over it's on I can't believe it I'm gonna go to bed I'm gonna sleep and I'm not gonna wake up at five or six in the morning <laughs> and then drive 40 minutes every day. <laughs> it was worth it though. All right. First off, I'd like to thank everyone who came out to Comic Con. It was a pleasure getting to meet you. All right guys, it's been about um, almost a week since Comic Con, it is now yeah, it's been a week. Um, it's the Sunday after I took the week to really just totally recoup and just spend time with family and relax and figure things out and um, fight insurance companies. <laughs> you know, adult things. Um, but I have so many amazing ideas that I want to try and I don't know what to do but I do know that I can't fail and I can't succeed unless I try them so I may be trying a couple of new things with the channel I may be trying a couple of new things like with my art style who knows who you never know and if you don't um, follow me on my Instagram it's at Gweagles uh, my Tumblr and Twitter is also Gweekles. I post most frequently on Instagram because that's easiest. Um, but I have so many things I want to try. I want to make a monster art zine. I want to do a sketchbook. I want to try doing comics. I want to do like monthly and weekly sketch hangouts. I thought about opening up my Patreon again. Um, and doing that and then like having tears but or maybe even just trying to do like that sponsor thing on YouTube I don't even know if I qualify for that um, but that makes it so much easier for you guys because you already have a YouTube account I tried twitch there's nothing wrong with twitch it's just you know streaming stuff is like really it's not hard it's just I always worry 
about like the internet connection and it's actually easier for me to do it on Twitch than it is YouTube. Um, my YouTube seems to go out and cut out a lot, but maybe there's something I can do to fix that. I don't know. You guys can let me know what you would prefer. If you would prefer like Patreon exclusive stuff, um, cause I have ideas for that and not to make it expensive, but accessible. Um, obviously I had a wonderful time at Comic-Con. I met so many amazing people and other artists and my friends and family were there. My father even came on the very last day and surprised me. He's never been to a con that I've done before. And he's never been to an art gallery that I have ever exhibited at for one reason or another. So it was just really special for me. Everyone that I loved was there. All of my best friends were there supporting me. I got to see Ari. I love and miss her so much and her sisters and her brothers and it's always like nothing ever changes every time we get to reconnect and I always feel good but then I come back here and come back to everyday life and people are always busy and it's difficult for I find my myself more creative when I'm surrounded by other creative people and I always feel so much better about myself and I don't feel bad about myself because we're all surrounding each other and boosting each other up. I felt really good at con because even if people didn't buy my work or they didn't know me, they had really nice things to say and it made me feel so good about myself. It was probably the best weekend I've had in a very long time and I don't think I've ever felt so good about myself in a very long time. I'm working on self-esteem and all that good stuff, but you know, hanging out in solitude and just working on your own art and being your own critic and like trying to post and post and appeal to the social media, I just, I really have to stop. At some point, I'm going to take a break from actually like looking and being on social media and just posting and do a test not anytime soon because I'm gonna now's a bad time because I just gained some followers and other things from Comic Con so it would be a bad time to take a break um, but I will take a break as far as like checking how many views checking how many likes checking how many subscribers on any of the social platforms because the numbers thing is like really ruining it and making I seen for a lot of people and they're just numbers because if I don't get a whole lot of likes or numbers that doesn't stop the fact that there were people that came to my booth and they were like please keep making your videos please keep doing what you're doing they're so helpful or people loved my art and they'd been following me for a really long time and they're just really sweet good people and that makes all the difference in the world that makes more of a difference than like 40,000 or just one person or two people or three people just that's what's important and what's also important is that I'm happy and I think I just feel the pressure to be able to, I want this to be my job so bad. I always have. And I put unrealistic expectations on myself. I learned a lot from this Comic Con. So, if I were to say anything to anybody else who wanted to try, it would be do it, try it, and learn. Because I learned a lot still. I didn't sell as much as I wanted to, I sold a lot. But because I was trying to cater to so many needs and so many different niches, I had too much. So I had prints, I had charms, I had stickers, I had buttons, I had some originals. I had big prints, I had small prints, but because I had so many different things instead of just a focus, I had a lot of different things I had split my money between. So, it might be time to just focus. But this is my second con, and so this is a learning process. And just so you guys know, I put everything that I had left up in my store 
Um, it's uh, Etsy.com slash Gweagles. And I have a couple of baby prints left, very few big prints left. And you'll be happy to know my stickers and my charms are still in a good quantity. They're all at the prices that I sold them for at the con because I don't want anyone to feel bad that they weren't able to get there. So you're getting them at con prices other than shipping and there's nothing I can do about that. But yeah, so if you still wanted to try, buy a piece of my work that I worked on um, and anything you saw, you can just go to etsy.com slash weekles and that'll make me so happy. And I just, I had a blast and I had fun learning and I just, if I want to take anything away from this, other than the fact that I had so much love and support, that goes to show like when you really need it and to feel that constantly and constantly think about that and you know how I always stress about community it gave me the idea to want to sit down and do like sketch streams and just doodle hangouts uh, with you guys so if I were to do a sponsor thing I'd want to do like weekly or every other week um, like hangouts or something just something worth you know getting a sponsorship but like something to also bring community and just the sponsor part would just because I really want to do this for my job I still need to support myself I wish I couldn't I didn't have to charge anything but that's where I'm wondering about the patreon versus just trying the sponsorship on YouTube um, but oh well I'm gonna try a bunch of cool things I'm gonna really really try and give you guys some really good YouTube content I'm not really happy with what I've been putting out lately and I'm gonna fix that um, I've had some great ideas and I'm just so scared of failure <laughs> that I have done nothing I've only sketched a little bit since coming back from con and one was because I was really tired for like the first three days and the other one was literally because I was like okay now I want to embark on these ideas what if I don't like anything that I do so I'm already putting myself into a corner so I need to just do it just draw just make art just create and quit putting so much strain on myself and the same goes for you too and try it doesn't matter if you fail you tried you're not going to succeed and you're not going to fail if you don't try if you fail then you just learn more so it's easier said than done but it must be done because we can't just sit around and wait for things to fall in our lap because they won't unfortunately but I want to say thank you guys so much for supporting me for everyone who came up to my table and spoke with me and said nice things about me and my art you made me feel really good so if my videos do anything for you at all if my art does anything for you at all just know that you do just as much if not more for me and you encourage me and you inspire me to keep going too and we are a community and we're artists and we build each other up and I want to keep doing that and I want us to do it together I want us to even though daily hustle and daily life is busy or we might not all live together or not you know there's not a whole lot of artistic people or artsy fartsy people or whatever you creative minds and open-minded people and you just want to be around people like you so that's why we have the internet so we can create sketch groups and art groups and all that good stuff ourselves and I'm gonna see about doing that but thank you so much for checking out this video please like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed it or if you'd like to see other art related videos sometimes I actually do art and I don't just talk all the time but um, uh, hit that cowbell so you can get notified when I actually post the videos because apparently YouTube doesn't like to tell you. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Mwah.